Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 11 of our series of session on Tally's latest release 3.0. We are covering the GST module in this series. In the last session, we learned how we can incorporate the advances paid and submitted in the return in release 3 so that you can now start using the latest tally for all your GST compliance. In this session, we will learn how we can start using the advanced feature in the normal way in tally release. And once you receive the advance, how the information is captured so that the receipt of advance gets reported in the respective return for the month in which you received the advance. And once you raise the invoice, how this advance amount can be adjusted is what we will see in this session. Let's go to tally and experience the feature of managing of advance in tally. In the last session, we understood how we can incorporate the opening balance of advance that we had reported in GST return. And while making the invoice now in tally, we were able to adjust the advance amount while raising the invoice. And then we filed the return from tally. Now going forward, in case you are receiving any advance for future supply, how are we going to manage in tally is what we will see now. Let us take an example that in the month of July, this company is receiving an advance towards supply of services. How are they going to account it. We go to voucher entry, select receipt and before you start capturing the data on the right hand side button, you have this button called stat adjustment. Click on stat adjustment and we have this nature of receipt. We are receiving advance. So you just say advance receipt, enter. We have this flag saying used for advance receipt. Now you make the normal entry, credit the customer who is giving you the advance amount. So this is the information of the customer. It's very important that we capture this information press ctrl a and now we are going to specify towards what nature of service we are receiving advance now these are the ledgers that we have created and these are accounting ledgers in case for some reason if you have created a stock item for your services that you are going to supply you can select the particulars or the nature of advance received for stock item also how do we do that now you see on the right hand side button bar at the bottom we have this button called show stock items when you click here tally is now going to give you the list of stock item you can select your respective stock item that you have created for services if you want to use the ledger we can use the ledger itself come here and again click on show ledgers it is going to now give you the list of ledgers select the nature of service let's say i'm going to select professional services enter what is the amount of advance that we have received enter the amount one lakh is the advance that we have received enter tally will automatically back calculate 18 percent gst on 1 lakh. So that's how you are viewing here the taxable value, the CGST, SGST since the customer is a local customer. Enter and now this is an advance amount you have received. You have this reference here. Tally by default will take the voucher number. You want to put your own reference, you can do it. For example, you can say advance 1, enter, end of list and you debit your cash or bank account. The date of receipt of advance is 1st of July. So once you save this for the month of July, assuming that no other transactions are affected we have to now file our GSTR 1 so let's go to GSTR 1 and see the impact of this transaction that we have captured simply press alt G and then type 1 we will get GSTR 1 enter and this is for the month of June just press F2 and just type J U J U. This is for the month of July. Month of July, we have no other transaction. And if you come down here, the table under tax liability advance received, which is 11A1, 11A2 on 1 lakh that we have received. The taxable amount which was back calculated in tally is being displayed here and the relevant tax amount is getting displayed here. So the dealer is going to now make the payment of the GST liability and file the return. Now let us say in the month of August, we are supplying our service to this customer. Now while making the invoice, this amount of GST which is already discharged has to be reduced from the total tax that we are going to charge in the 
tax invoice so let us pass a sale invoice and see how easily or in a simple manner we can set off this gst liability that we have paid on advance receipt so we go to voucher entry select sales press f8 for sales let's say we are invoicing in the month of august the customer is the ledger that i've created as customer enter and now this is accounting invoice just in case if you are getting the caption here saying that name of the item that means it is a item invoice quickly you can change to accounting invoice how do you do that again on the right hand side button bar click on change mode and you have this three mode of capturing sales invoice item invoice accounting invoice and also as voucher where you can debit and credit the respective ledgers so we are going to select accounting invoice which has already been selected enter and once you select accounting invoice the caption here will say particulars so press space bar tally is going to give you the list of all your ledgers that you have created select the professional services enter and the amount in the invoice that we are going to bill is say 2 lakh rupees we have to charge gst so see gst enter 18000 9 percent on 2 lakh then the SGST 18,000 now our liability is not 36 it is not 18 plus 18 it is 18,000 CGST minus the GST liability already discharged on advance receipt so we come down here when we come to bill wise allocation in the bill wise detail tally is automatically selected new reference but then we have already received advance so for our accounting purpose or for our financial records we have to first set off the advance that we have already received of 1 lakh for our books of account so what we do is we say against reference since we have an advance amount enter tally is going to give you the list of all the pending references here we have this advance of 1 lakh enter enter 1 lakh so out of 236 now minus 1 lakh is going to pay 136 the balance 136 needs to be received so we are going to say new reference and we are going to show this as outstanding amount enter and now the earlier advance amount that we have received is getting listed here which we now want to adjust this from a GST's point of view so we select this enter accept no more advance advances are pending end of list and save this let's see our gstr1 return for the month of august and see what is the value that is going to be displayed alt g1 gstr1 we are selecting change the month from july to august f2 au enter au enter observe here one invoice that we have raised in the month of august is for the value of 2 lakh the taxable value is 2 lakh the tax amount on that 9% 9% is shown as a turnover but whereas since in the month of july we have already discharged the liability of GST on advance that is getting reduced from your total turnover adjustment of advance is what it is showing you here the amount which we have paid will auto capture here and from 18,000 minus 7627 the net amount payable on CGST is 10,372 and SGST the same amount to view the detail of this advance adjustment just select this line item and press enter tally is going to give you that this is related to intrastate advance amount the taxable amount and the tax amount that is got calculated by tally will get displayed press escape now for the month of august this dealer's liability is 10372 round it off to 10373 and 10373 so this way in a very simple manner we can manage advance receipt and adjust the advance without any additional transaction for adjustment tally will automatically take care of the adjustment of advance and reflect in the respective table of the gst written form i hope you are clear about the steps that we saw in tally that how easy and simple it is for you to manage the receipt of advance and adjustment of advance against raising of tax invoice thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much